Hey guys, welcome back. It's KDB Karen here. And today, in today's vlog, I'm gonna discuss about something that is so, so interesting. But before I start today's vlog, if you haven't subscribed to my personal Instagram channel, um, sorry, my personal Instagram, Instagram handle, or my YouTube-based Instagram handle, make sure to go and subscribe. And before I continue, I'm just gonna show you a little bit of how the view looks like. Okay, so you can see this is the beautiful sun. It is going to have like a nice sunrise here. It looks lovely, kind of orange and blue. Okay, everybody, so yes, today it is a very nice sunny weather. It is not that cold, so I'm very pleased with the weather. Now, in today's vlog, I'm going to be discussing about something that is so important, which is once you arrive into Canada and if you're planning to move into residence, really what should you do at the airport like what transportation should you be taking and what are the things that you should be doing to technically make it to campus um if you live on residence or just even you know just to make it to your lounge or any of your hotels and i did have a couple of people asking me that both on my instagram handle and also on our university kind of help page which is called this uni buddy app um but yeah so I just wanted to share a couple of options that I had in mind and I thought it was really helpful. So if you use this app, which is called the Transit Bus app, you're going to be able um, to make use of a bus which goes directly from the airport and then it takes you to downtown and from downtown it will take you to campus. So when you're at the airport, you know, if you go across the road, you're going to look and you're going to find um, a bus stop which is called the bus stop number 11 I believe it could be 12 as well but or 14 but I usually would say 11 is the best bet because it is a very frequent sort of um, bus and it can take you to downtown so once you get to downtown downtown's a little bit confusing there's a lot of bus terminals so you have to make use of Google Maps even if I try explaining it on the video itself um, it is very complicated so i would always suggest people to go on google maps once you get into downtown so in downtown you technically need to find out buses um like you could look for 43 44 45 those buses will take you directly here to campus again make use of the transit app so that you just know what time the buses are coming and it and exactly like where you should be stopping that is so important and yeah, so this is the bus route option. Um, of course, each ride is about three bucks. So obviously when you get into, you know, Canada itself, you're not going to have your bus pass with you. So you do have to spend a little bit amount of money. Once your bus passes, you know, are figured out, then obviously you can take the bus. And I think it's, it's the best way out. Um, because in that way, when you first come into Canada, you kind of have, you know, experience with the bus as well. Um, but again, I always feel like when you're a newcomer and trying really the transit buses, um, it's a little bit risky because you're carrying a lot of things, obviously, and you know, you're new, so it's a bit of a hassle. So I usually suggest people getting off a taxi. There's a couple of taxis you can use. Uh, the most popular one, I think, is called Captain Taxi. So in order to book a taxi, I believe that there should be a phone number. Either you can go to the airport help desk. They could redirect you to um, a particular phone number. Or you could just search off Google. And you would be able to get a taxi phone number. You just book your taxi. Just let them know where you are and where you want to go. And they'll help you out. So, But of course... That is going to be comparatively a bit more expensive. And the last option that I have is, of course, the Uber. Uber is one of the most convenient, fastest, and easiest way um, out because, obviously, you can use the app. You can actually show them where you are and where you want to go on the map. So I particularly think that Uber is lovely. But again, I know some people have got trust issues and they don't really want to use Uber. Then I would say taxis would be your best bet. But according to my knowledge, I would say these three options are your best ways, you know, to get from the airport all the way to campus or even to any of the lounge or hotels that you want to go to. So I really do hope you found this video helpful. I tried to mention all the available options that we have. And if you have any more particular questions that you want me to help you out with, 
be sure to mention it in the Instagram handle that I have by DMing me or feel free to mention in the comment section below or you can always reach me out through, you know, the UniBuddy app. So till then, take care guys. Bye.